with a startling win in the 1994 New York City Marathon. This was the first major victory by an African woman. It's um, very difficult to describe Tekla Lorupe in a few words. I would want to go on and on and on and on because there are so many things to talk about Tekla Lorupe. And uh, just looking at, um, at her story, it's really inspiring. Uh, from having to run 20 kilometers every day, back and forth to school every day, to be where she is right now. It's, it's an amazing journey. In school, that was when Tekla, Tekla noticed that she can run because she used now to uh, take part in the school uh, sports activities. So she thought, hey, I have talent. I can actually beat the boys. So for her, that was, um, uh, that was an achievement because all through she was looked as a lesser person, being very small, being, of course, being a girl. I met Ambassador Tegla Lope in uh, Qatar. We were both attending uh, a conference on, on education and we got to, we started talking and she asked me, what do you do in life? And I said, I work for UNHCR uh, in Kenya. I'm the representative of UNHCR in Kenya. And she said, I want to do something for refugees. She said, when we're back in uh, Nairobi, let's get in touch. I want to do something for refugees. She came uh, to Kakuma for the World Refugee Day celebration. We organized the peace race. And that after that, she said, but a lot of these refugees have fantastic talent when it comes to, to running races, etc." Um, and then she kind of said, maybe we should try and make sure that they would go to the Olympic Games. She has very close contact, obviously, um, with the IOC, with the current uh, president, Thomas Bach. Um, and then some funding was mobilized to uh, put in place a training camp for a number of refugees. Uh, races were organized to, um, to select the best, uh, and then they were, they were um, enrolled in that, uh, in that training camp. And uh, I think there were about 25 at the beginning. Uh, and then they trained very hard. Tegla was there. And I, stand, I was asking her, is it, is it doing fine? Do we have chances to have some of them going to Rio? She said, we will have some of them going to Rio. And then this year, when the Olympic Games took place, you had the first ever refugee Olympic team uh, made of about 10 athletes. And half of this team was made of uh, some of the refugee athletes who had been trained in Gong here by the Tegla Lorupe Foundation. Ambassador Tegla Lorupe has had an impact that we couldn't imagine when we started uh, discussing even her involvement with, with refugees. I don't think anybody could imagine how the world felt when they saw a refugee Olympic team entering the Maracana Stadium in, uh, in Rio. Um, everywhere around the world. First, they got the applause, more applause than any team that, uh, that uh, entered the stadium on the, on the first day of the Olympic Games. Um, and it showed the world that people who go through a lot, who have struggled, can reach the top of anything, the top of, of, of sports. In this case, the, 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 the pinnacle of sports activity is the, are the Olympic Games. So, it showed that it's possible, regardless of what you go through in life, you can achieve that, uh, that level. Tekla is a role model and she's, she inspires us in so many ways. Um, when, when she narrates how she came a long way, when she used to be in a remote area, where she was doing her practice without even wearing shoes and she made it up to where she is today. She advises us, she gives us a lot of options that even if we don't make it in running, we, we can survive. Because and refugees so, what you need to do is to be a talent or a talent. So, it's easy to be a talent. I'm going 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 to be a
vile nimefika hapo hivi umenisaidia fiatu na siku kwa hata na suru ile suru wale hata vitu chochote tu siku kwa na vitu vile tumpika hapo kam nimeona kitu kitu fiatu umenipa so kila kitu ndio umenipa ndio umenisaidia ndio umenisaidia mzuri mam you inspire us to dream bigger to run harder you go father to reach higher to dig deeper